Hello Booktube, this is part 23 of my 2022 library tour. Today I'm finishing off the history bookshelves with the last six books of history I have on the 11th history bookshelf. So let's get going. First, in all of these books except for the last one I picked up from Labyrinth in January. Uh, the last book is the, my pre-order with Princeton, which I'll talk about when I get to her. Uh, but the first book is The Shadow Emperor, a biography of Napoleon III by Alan Strauss Schoen. This is a biography of um, Napoleon III, who was president of France after 1848 and emperor of France in the 1860s who lost his throne after he got defeated by the Prussians in the Franco-Prussian War. Next is Empire of Guns, The Violent Making of the Industrial Revolution by Priya Satya. Um, I haven't gotten around to this yet. I haven't read any of the books on this shelf, and I'm confident of that. Um, so I don't know much about this book, although I have wanted it for a while. I'm quite happy to have it. Next is another book I've wanted for a while, and that's Enfabling the East, The Enlightenment's Encounter with Asia by Jürgen Osterhammel. And then I have The Heartland in American History by Kristen L. Hogginson. This is a history of the American Midwest. Oh, I stand corrected. These four books were the ones I got from Labyrinth. Um, they're a used uh, bookstore, or I guess maybe they might be a new and used bookstore that's uh, located in n roughly near uh, Princeton University. I got a catalog from them late last year and decided to shop with them. I had like, I think 10 or 11 books that I whittled down to four, but I'm definitely going to shop with them again in the future. But the last two books um, are actually pre-orders. Um, the first of the pre-orders, and they're both uh, royal biographies. The first one is uh, British Royalty. This is The Queen by Matthew Dennison. This is a biography of um, Elizabeth II. On the cover, the front cover, there's a portrait of the younger Elizabeth, and on the back, there's a portrait of the older Elizabeth. Um, I've wanted this book ever since I saw Steve Donahue haul it um, early last year. Um, and I was originally going to get it in uh, the hardcover, but I was convinced by my mom when I showed her this cover that this cover is actually much better. And I'm quite happy because it's also quite a bit cheaper. Um, I picked it up from Book Depository as a pre-order. And I got it, I think, a little earlier than it was released. Even with um, the length of time it takes Book Depository books to uh, get to the U.S. But anyway, quite happy to have it. And I'm looking forward to reading it. And also maybe picking up some more... Um, Biographies of Elizabeth II, and of course, I do need to find more um, any biographies of her namesake, Elizabeth I. Anyway, so the last book on uh, this shelf, and the last book for the moment of my history tour, is Maria Theresa, The Habsburg Empress in Her Time by Barbara Stolberg Rillinger. This is a massive, massive biography of Maria Theresa, uh, put out by uh, Princeton University Press um, in a translated edition. Um, I pre-ordered this in late August when uh, Princeton had a 40% off sale, and so I kind of was pleased I could uh, use it for pre-orders, and so I picked it up. Um, and as like I mentioned in my uh, January book haul, 
this book had quite the adventure getting to me. It um, started off um, being shipped about a month earlier than the release date. Um, and I was quite excited to hopefully get it maybe before the end of the year. So it started to wind its way through um, the UPS mill innovation system, which is how um, Ingram, uh, which is a book distribution company that um, Princeton University Press and a few others use, um, sort of got to where it went into the USPS system because mill in, UPS mill innovations basically at a certain point transfers the delivery to or the package to the USPS, United States Postal Service. So once that happened, my book kind of disappeared. Um, the uh, there was no updates. The UPS mail innovation said there was a delay of some sort uh, about ten days, like a week or ten days past, and I'm like, okay. So I sent an email to Ingram about it. And then on that day, the uh, book finally arrived, but there was no updates from the post office. The post office never updated it from when it left, I think, the Ingram warehouse, if not uh, the UPS Mill Innovations facility uh, near Ingram's warehouse. And I'm like, so it was a very stressful few weeks waiting for this book, but I'm quite happy to have it. And I'm planning on reading it first thing in March. Hopefully I don't change myself. Because the way my reading has been going this year so far, I'm probably going to be jinxing myself. <laughs> anyway, so that wraps up history. Um, so starting tomorrow, we begin the final part of my 2022 library tour and nearly the second half of my 2022 library tour, I begin science fiction and fantasy. We've got another four weeks of the library tour because there, there's a lot. Um, the uh, non-science fiction part of my collection was 23 shelves or 23 parts, I should say. Although we can count manga, I think probably most of the manga I have would count as science fiction and fantasy. So, but I included it in the earlier part of the library tour. Um, but science fiction and fantasy is like 21 um, shelves. So we've got, I've got pretty much another four weeks to go. So anyway, booktube, I'm going to sign off for now because there are a few other videos I would like to make today while I have the time. So until I uh, see you again, thank you, have a great afternoon, and stay safe.